about 10 minutes worth it looks like about 10 minutes to 5 and let me see if I can find this broadcast on my trusty little iPad here and see if we've got uh, decent audio okay I gotta refresh here see if I can find it there she blows part 3 Yes, and it sounds like the audio is good, and MRG911 is first in the house. Our WAGS is second, but first I'm participating in an IU medical school survey on the COVID-19. Wait till they get a load of my answers. You would be proud of me. Personal responsibility. Stig's in the house. Third, cannot wait to hear about... Uh, this R Wags. Uh, Carlos is in the house and I'm I'm projecting stability today. Notice I've got my 18 karat gold wedding band on. So I'm I'm projecting stability today. Audio's good, says Carlos. Adonis is quarantined, it says hey all, and Carlos says hello. Okay, so here we go. We've got a little bit of a pregame show going. <laughs> and um, I, by the way, am wearing a Gitman Brothers shirt. And this particular shirt, <clears throat> I, I bought, as you may recall, a year or two ago, I bought two Gitman Brothers shirts, French cuff, white shirts, just to support an American manufacturing company, one of the few that still makes shirts in these United States. Bought two shirts from them, so I, keep, I get these announcements on different sales and things like that. And this shirt was on sale for 25 bucks. It was normally like $95 or something, just a deep discount, 25 bucks. So I said, what the hell? Locked and loaded on it. And I like it. Super, super nice shirt and comfortable and well-made, typical Gitman Brothers quality. So I like it. like to support USA-made products. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm wearing an oldie but goodie, one of my cashmere sport coats and speaking of cashmere here are a few photos few photos of cashmere items and I have to admit as you know Brianna the lovely Brianna loved this cashmere sweater and s since she did look better in it than me I went ahead and let her keep that so that's one of her favorite sweaters to wear around the house and sometimes to bed whatever but and there's, of course, a uh, Oxford uh, cashmere sport coat. These are all cashmere items. And there's another photo. And there is a, another sport coat from Oxford. And very nice cashmere. And there is a sport coat, Oxford from Neiman Marcus, cashmere. That's a beauty. More cashmere. More cashmere, more cashmere. We like cashmere. More cashmere, more cashmere, more cashmere, and more cashmere. All of these photos can be found on my Flickr photo stream. Just search cashmere and you'll find these and a whole bunch of other made in USA made high-end clothing and you can figure out if you want some things like this and there's the coat that I'm wearing now actually right there that's the coat that I'm wearing right now so there you go folks and somebody says well why do you put all those photos up on your Flickr you know well because people ask me about this stuff and why not provide the information this way they have the information and if they want to get something similar they can knock themselves out uh let's see uh craig uh you look your town's mayor sharp well thank you thank you uh unlike the mayor i don't have to be reelected. i own frederick.com year after year after year i don't have to be reelected, so i have actually a better position than the mayor uh Wilson 1911.45 auto yeah that would be another good um, a good EDC item 
I'd like to see you buy another day to eight. Well, yeah, a lot of folks have been talking about that. And you never know. It might happen. The Mighty Rat's in the house. He says, hey, Carlos. And uh, Carlos says, some made in Scotland, but those used to be great quality, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, these these uh, pictures of the cashmere, this was strictly cashmere items. And, yeah, they weren't all made in the USA. But, yeah, and that's the thing about cashmere. You have to be careful because a lot of the cashmere that comes out of China is not very high quality. So you've got to be careful about the quality of the cashmere that you're messing around with because it's not all created equal. Dan's in the house. Dan is sending me something only about the first. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to let him know I'm live. I'm live now. I uh, can check later. Uh, later. Yeah, he should know I'm live. He should be subscribing to the channel. What's wrong with that? That's okay. I know the sheriff uh, made some. Okay, I vote Craig for sheriff. Yeah, the sheriff of Frederick County is a good friend of mine, Sheriff Chuck Jenkins. You can search on my channel, Sheriff or Jenkins, and you'll see a bunch of photos of him. Our Wags is in the house. I'm back. Craig, how do you protect your cashmere items from moth damage? I store mine in plastic storage cases with snap-on lids. That's one way to do it. I have a um, cedar, cedar chest that I keep most of the sweaters and things like that in. The other thing is agitate them. Use them. Like sport coats like this, even if you're not wearing it for a while, take it off the, the hanger, agitate it agitate the fabric the 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 eggs and the the what causes the damage and so forth is very fragile so if you actually use the items regularly uh, you'll have less of an issue with that they like they like to be in the back of the closet in a dark area and untouched for a long period of time they love that they'll just they'll just eat away and have a field day right but if you're using the item regularly and, and agitating it, that is a good thing to do too. So there you go. And I think high quality cashmere is, is a little harder for them to do their thing on. At least that's been my, uh, my experience. I've had very few things with, uh, of my cashmere with moth damage. I've had a couple of my wool suits damaged years ago, but um, so far, knock on wood, nothing lately. Uh, okay, the Mighty Rat. i got to say, I'm rapidly sour on the snowflake. Oh, do tell. Why? Why, why, why? Yeah, somebody's asking why. I'm rapid favor of the skyflake. Oh, what, which one's the skyflake? Do tell. Do educate us. Uh, hey, Craig, was that Dan McDermott you're referring to? Yes, yes. That's Dan. Uh, Carlos, we do not have much moth problem here, but we use al alchemor around our land to repel snakes. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think a 12-gauge shotgun would do a no good number on them, too. All right. So let's get into some more. Uh, as an extension to the EDC items discussion that we had, we're going to talk about some things that you might have around the house, some high-quality things you might have around the house and you might need and that might need to be handy uh, at any given time. We'll talk about a little bit of that. Uh, let's see. Craig, I watched your video about Frederick.com. How come you started all that? Um, how come you started all that about helping out small businesses to get on the Internet? This is amazing. Uh, yeah, it's F-R-E-D-E-R-I-C-K.com. You left a K off of there. Um, I just thought it was a, a good use for the Internet. I, I thought that it was, a, you know, I started back in 1996 doing it, and I just thought it makes sense to help uh, small businesses leverage the Internet, and it's been a lot of fun, and I meet a lot of interesting people, and it's been profitable, so it's all good. Uh, the pattern... Of material makes screen effect on TV or monitor. Yeah, this th this gives the moray effect. Absolutely, that's why 
Unfortunately, I can't wear these patterned things as often as I would like on the broadcasts because they do create a more. Yes, you're right. They do that. But it's so comfortable. I love cashmere, so occasionally I do it, even though that's an issue. And check out the SB, SGBA407. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. SGBA407. It's amazing that this 2010, uh, this 2010 MacBook will run. I've got like 30 tabs open in, in my browser right now. You'll see when I switch to this how many, um, how, many, how many tabs I have open. Now, for some reason, that number that you gave me is not coming up. SB, SGBA 407. Uh, let's go back here and try another. Try again. Uh, S. Hmm. Yeah, you might want to double check that number. I'm not getting anything. Um, not getting anything coming up with that one. Okay. Let's see here. Um, Hello, Carlos. Uh, Rich, it's cool. I wish you guys would start doing the Google Plus weekly show again or something similar. I thought that was a great show, Rich in the House. Yeah, I mean, that was Dan saying, and he enjoyed doing it. It was fun. Uh, but, of course, they shut down Google Plus. He's busy with his newspapers and trying to keep everything afloat in these difficult times. But uh, there's always a possibility he might start doing something like that. And I will talk to him. I'll tell him I'll suggest it. I've actually suggested that he do a regular show here on the channel. But, again, time constraints. Our Wags is in the house. Glad to hear about your cedar chest. I have cedar closets, and they don't seem to work since they were installed 90 years ago. Somebody told me need to be sanded to bring the cedar smell back. Well, also, the, uh, the chest, when you close the lid, it literally has like a... A really good seal all the way around so the critters just can't even get in there uh, so yeah it's it's pretty pretty tight tightly sealed so that helps a lot okay so let's show off a a well first of all let's here's a through night this is a through night flashlight T H R U N I T E give you a close-up of that And this is a basically a tactical flashlight, and you can see that it's got the, the rubber thing here that you can grip it, right? And then it's got a tail switch here, so you can quickly toggle it on and off, all right, at full power. And then it's got a switch up front here also that you can toggle through. Uh, well, I guess that only works once it's on. I guess that's how it works. So you put that on, and then you can toggle through different brightnesses, right? And then I guess what it does is it just remembers the, the last brightness. So let's put it on that brightness and toggle it. Yeah, it remembers whatever brightness it was on. So that's how this one works. And that's a pretty cool, like, tactical flashlight, just in case you need something like that. You're getting into a dicey situation, and you need some light. Now... Another thing, if you want something really tactical, this puppy here, this is also made by Through Night. Get a close up of that head. Okay, and, uh, and this puppy here, very solid, very solid feeling. Very good grip here on it. And it's got a place for a lanyard here. And what I did was I put some paracord, some 550 paracord on here. And then, of course, a hang, hangman's knot on the end. And so that I can put my hand through and push comes to shove, you could literally swing the whole thing using that lanyard. 
okay, and really get some torque, right? Of course, you can just use it like that, all right? Now, to, to, to use this in a defensive situation, of course, you want to have very powerful forearms, arms, and shoulders, you know, a lot of power there, so you can, so you can really do what you need to do. So that's where certain exercises come in, come in handy. And this is extremely uh, easy to use. It's got two, two switches here. One just turns it on and off, and the forward one goes right to the strobe. And I won't do that much because that can irritate some people. But the forward one goes right to the strobe. So if you need to stun somebody with the strobe, you just use the forward button, right? So that's a, a good tactical light to have around the house, okay, just in case. Proper planning prevents poor performance, folks. You gotta plan for things. People say, well, I never expected that could happen. How, why would I ever plan for that? I, I, I never dreamed that could happen. Well, broaden your horizons. Think a little broader. You know, think about the things that might happen and be, be a little bit more prepared, folks. Everybody says, oh, we weren't prepared for this virus thing you know what well should have prepared should have been in good shape should have been taking care of yourself should have been eating right you know shouldn't be on a whole lot of medications because you're not taking care of yourself shouldn't have a whole lot of underlying conditions because you weren't taking care of yourself for like 20 or 30 or 40 years or maybe 50 years or longer should have been taking care of yourself should have been thinking about things like that so going back to uh, our wags personal responsibility right so in the old days, of course, we used the mag light. Okay? Very solid piece. In the old days, we used that. This one was converted to uh, LED. There's a little conversion thing you can get to convert it to LED. So this one still works, but I prefer the other uh, through night because it's, it's just a, a little, little more, a little easier to grip and to handle than this. <coughs> But they will both do the trick. Both good to have around the house. Let me know in the chat what you guys what you guys have around the house and you know in preparation for potentially dicey situations. Uh, apologies, my typo in the letters. I meant S B G A four oh seven. Let's try it. Oh yeah, this is the one that Steve showed the other day. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that Steve showed the other day. He's got it in stock at Little Treasury. And by the way, I, and it's a stunner. <laughs> it is a stunner. By the way, I had a gentleman send, send me an email saying that he, he just bought his fourth Grand Seiko and that he wouldn't have bought any of them if it wasn't for me and uh, so on and so forth you know he has he hasn't bought any of the four from Steve he bought all of them from somebody else hey help help support Steve he 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 supports the community he puts on parties for us he feeds us you know uh, when it when possible uh, uh, contact Steve at littletreasury.com the link is always in the description of these videos and uh, see if he can take care of you on your next Grand Seiko purchase. Uh, Carlos, that has double use. You can hit hard with it. Well, yeah. Uh, been meaning to ask, how do you prepare your sweet potato? Okay, we'll talk about that. Is only 2% people with higher intelligence. I don't blame people anymore. They not prepared for anything. <laughs> yeah, it used to be survival of the fittest and and those that weren't fit you know just kind of fall, fell by the wayside but now they they prop them up and so we've got a lot of unfit people unfortunately that's the way it's going uh, okay so how do I prepare the sweet potato it's not complicated what I do is I just take the sweet potato and I clean it off and I peel it I have a potato peeler I peel it and then I poke a few breathing holes in it with the knife and then I take it and I wrap it with a paper towel and then I soak it with H2O water 
and then I microwave it. And depending on the size of the potato, if it's a really big one, I'll microwave it for five minutes and then turn it and then maybe do it for another three minutes, two and a half minutes. Depending on the size, I just kind of estimate. And I'm pretty good at it because I've, I've cooked so many of them. And then, so basically, I in, it ends up fully cooked all the way through, just really ends up nice. And then I take it and I put it in a bowl, a large bowl. And if it's a really big sweet potato, I will cut it in half down the middle and I'll take half of it and put it in a glass container and put it in the refrigerator for the next day because I won't eat the whole thing because it'll be too much, right? So it depends on how big it is, right? And so anyway, I end up with a portion, the right amount of portion, and then I cut it up in the bottom of the bowl. I simultaneously have another bowl with a tomato all cut up in it and maybe some black beans and, and some other things. And the black beans are already cooked, right? And then, and then while I'm cooking that in the microwave, warming that up, and maybe there'll be some fish in there or whatever, then simultaneously I'm cutting up the sweet potato, and then I take and I spread half an avocado all over it, all over the sweet potato, and then I put some vinegar on it. And by then, the what I call topping part is already cooked in the other bowl, I take that out of the microwave and pour it on top of the sweet potato that's already in the bottom of the other bowl, and then sprinkle some hemp seeds on top, maybe a little bit of mustard, and I'm good to go. I've got a very nutritious meal ready to go. So that's how I do all that. Maybe I'll do a video of all that. I may have already done a video of it on, on the channel here, I don't remember. Okay, um, let's see, nice watch, Carlos, okay. They drag them across the finish line, ha <laughs> ha, uh, the mighty rat. It's the snowflake spring drive, but with light blue dial and a heritage case and a croc strap. It's stunning. I mean, it, Steve had one on the show. It looks much better than this rendering on the... Um, on the uh, on the website, you know, the, the Grand Seiko, you, they use renderings. It's not even a real photo. It's ridiculous. But anyway, they look stunning in person, and I would not uh, chastise anyone for moving on the SBGA 407. That is definitely a stunner. Um, and Nick says, looking sharp. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so now another thing I want to talk about <clears throat> is shaving. Okay, you know I use the, uh, these razors are made in the USA, and they are made by, uh, what does this say here? Timeless razors, timeless razors, and they're made in these United States. This one is the stainless steel one with the base stainless steel base and super super nice now I before I got that one I got the bronze one and it has gotten the patina to it right like bronze does it has a shorter handle I really like this one but I like the longer handle on the stainless steel one and they both shave exceptionally well so it turns out I'm using the stainless steel one almost all the time and I'm not really using this one so, if a subscriber has an interest in this one, I would let it go for the price of the razor. In effect, they'd be getting the base for free, and I think this base is like 30 or 40 bucks normally, right? So I would sell this for whatever the price of the razor is, and they'd have to check the Timeless Razor website to see what, what it is. But, you know, it's obviously these, are, these last a lifetime. They don't go bad. You just clean it up, and you're just good to go. So anyway, if any subscriber is interested in that, I'd let that puppy go because I'm just not I'm just not using it. Uh, uh, let's see. Thanks. Sounds like you're doing the whole food plant based thing. I think it's a winner. Well, like I say, I'll have some fish with it, and sometimes I'll have some chicken with it. Uh, so I'm not 100% vegetarian, but I don't eat a whole lot of meat. Not a whole lot of meat. 
Let's see, the Mighty Rat, absolutely, I saw it in the past, and then Steve reminded me of it. Then the research started, it's only 10 millimeters thick. No, 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 no. This one's 12 point, um, if you're talking about this watch here, it's 12 point, um, 12.8 thick by 40.2. So it's actually a hair thicker than the snowflake. Just a little bit thicker than the snowflake. Okay. Um, da, 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 absolutely. Okay. 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 Um, yeah. No, it's not. It's not ten millimeters thick. I wish it was. Now they have a dress watch that is manual wind that is around that thickness, maybe ten point two. The uh, the O O two which is the gold version. They have, a, they have a stainless version as well, but there's the 002 that has the spring drive and the manual wind and so on, and that one's about 10.2 mils thick. If that's what you're talking about, that's correct, but not the, the other one we just looked at. So just, just to keep that clear, um, Brief Fit Dance is in the house. A nice suit and tie. Well, thank you very much. Yes, this is a cashmere sport coat. And I know you like cashmere as well. And as a matter of fact, earlier I showed the picture of you in the red cashmere sweater. Do you still wear that? Let us know, Bree. Let us know in the chat if you still wear that cashmere sweater. And also, if you want to call in, the lines are open if you want to call in and say hi and maybe we can get you some more uh, some more Patreons. Derek's in the house. Craig is the A, is the AD open yet? When is the trip to Rolex with Bree? No. Everything's shut down. Here in the People's Republic of Maryland all the comrades are supposed to be at home and doing nothing. They're all supposed to be at home and, and, and doing nothing. And unfortunately, even though I'm in motion and Brianna's in motion, almost everybody else in Maryland are not in motion. <laughs> They're all shut down. Only Bree and I are actually getting things done. So that's how that works. Craig, uh, okay, I read it. Okay. And Carlos says hello to Bree and hello to Derek. And Carlos, how is everything? There you go. All right, so let me think what else. Oh, oh, I want to show you. Uh, let's go back. And uh, let's see here. Since we were talking about... Uh, since we were talking about the lovely Brie, let's bring this picture up one more time. And remember, BrieFitDance.com. Give me a second here. I'll bring this up. And the website address is Brie, B-R-I, BrieFitDance.com, BrieFitDance.com, and you can get links to all of her social media. And you can even figure out how to become a Patreon from there. Let's see. Uh, Peter says, Hello all. Hope everyone is well. Great blazer and tie combo too. Do you know if Steve will be or does carry any of the GS Four Seasons pieces. Yes, he has them. I think he has them all in stock right now, but they come and go rapidly. So I would definitely reach out to Steve. I think he's there today. I would call him and get on the list for the particular one that you want. He might have it there right now, but he, they come and go. And so, yeah, that's going to be a kind of a hard one to get. So I would get it while the getting is good. The Mighty Rat 407 is 12.8 millimeters thick. I took that from a review, but the spec sheet says different. The 002 has a stunning dial too. Mighty Rat. Yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be. The, I think the 407 is going to be the 12.8 mil. Unfortunately, I think that's what it's going to be. Like I say, there are several dress watches that he has that are manual wind, that are nice and trim, and there's that one steel one that was a limited production. But I think it's sold out just about everywhere. So if you get lucky, you might find it. The the steel version of the 002. Forget the model number on it. But yeah. Um, 
let's see, uh, and um, so, <laughs> so Carlos, they won't even let you walk around? You're still totally locked down at home, huh? That's terrible. Um, yes, they look better, but I'm very concerned about the crisis that could be there in the aftermath. I hope to be wrong. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Um, okay. Carlos, uh, yes, but health is number one. Later we can face problems. What problems? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, best to uh, prepare and take care of yourself because if you count on others, that usually does not work out well. Uh, all right, so let's see what else I was going to show. Um, oh, 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 I did take pictures because I want you guys to know. Oh, and let me make sure Skype is ready. Let me make sure Skype is ready. Yeah, Skype is ready, I think. I want you guys to uh, to know that if you have an eagle eye and you look out, you might be able to get some deals. Okay. On these, uh, these Gitman Brothers shirts. So there's one. There's another one. I wore that one the other day. And then here's the one that I have on right now. Gitman Brothers. And they're out of Pennsylvania. They're out of Pennsylvania. All right. Um, Carlos, I can only leave my home for essential shopping twice per week during two hours, divined by the last digit of our ID. Wow. Carlos is living in the, the People's Republic of Panama. <laughs> oh, boy. Pretty soon they're going to want to put like tattoos on our foreheads, right? With like a number, right? So that they know exactly where we are at all times. Oh, man. Everything's going socialist. Oh, well. We had a good run. The capitalists had a good run for a while. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that is painful, Carlos. Not, not as bad in Wisconsin, I guess he's saying, Derek. Uh depression after reopen the markets etc you know it's interesting they're pumping so much money in the market they're pumping it up and maybe they can just keep doing that I mean, it's, it's just amazing it's mind-boggling that they can actually keep the market pumped up i'm looking for another major pullback but uh it may not happen i mean it's a it's just mind-boggling to me that they can pump this thing up the way they're doing that they can print as much money as they are and get away with it we'll see I mean maybe the chickens will come home to roost and maybe we'll have hyperinflation and we'll have all kinds of problems but but we will see and I think as far as a depression is concerned it's going to depend on how quick they let people reopen their businesses and and let things start getting back to normal if they do that sooner rather than later we we might be able to survive this thing but if they keep going the way they're going they're just going to really massacre this economy. I mean, it, it could be really, really bad if they keep this going on for, for months. You know, I mean, can you imagine if they do this for like the rest of the year to like December? I mean, can you imagine the damage? And of course, they don't care because they, they're getting their money. They're getting their salaries, right? And they can even get a haircut. You notice all these politicians, they all still have a good haircut and everything, right? They they can get a, a haircut. We can't. We can't go out and get a haircut, but they can get a haircut. Uh, let's see. Uh, isn't Wisconsin WI? Okay, Wyoming. Not as bad as Wyoming. WI is Wyoming, right? I don't know the, these things, but Kyle's in the house. He'll straighten us out. All right, so we've gotten on that topic again. All right, so what else... Uh, we're going to talk about EDC. We talked yesterday about, by the way, there's the time check again. Look at that. Look at that spring drive. A guy commented in one of the forums, made the argument that the Grand Seiko 9F is like 
the way to go with a watch, period. That it just is so far, so superior to a typical automatic movement that people shouldn't even consider an automatic movement. And, of course, he got a lot of pushback, right? A lot of people said, oh, it doesn't have a soul and all this stuff, right? And then other people said, well, you yeah, know, the spring drive's amazing, too. And, and he kind of agreed with that. But, uh, but he made some really legitimate arguments for the 9F being, like, the creme ter la creme, however you say that, the, the, the superlative choice, right? And he made some really legitimate arguments and I have to tell you, this 005 is freaking amazing. I mean, it is amazing on wrist. And one of the arguments he made is that they're so trim. You know, this is uh, this is 12 mils thick, right? And some of the some of the 9F watches are like 10 10 mils thick, right? So I I tell you, he made some really legit arguments. Let's take a close up at this. made some really <laughs> legit arguments about this watch so pretty pretty amazing stuff um, took a position in oil last week it's running at 50 percent pre-covid deal struck between major producers to limit production this is not financial advice Carlos we can go to about any store that's open, even McDonald's are open, grocery stores, hardware stores, farm supply stores, Home Depot, rest, restaurants will, with takeout or carryout. My sympathies, Carlos. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you gotta, th you gotta, I mean, you gotta give it to these, these, these big companies like McDonald's, right, and their, their, their power that they wield. I mean, they can get McDonald's deemed as essential right and all they sell is poison right that's all they sell they don't sell any anything healthy to eat right and they're and they are deemed to be uh, essential right but a halfway decent restaurant that serves decent healthy food they're they got to shut down so pretty amazing and pretty amazing when i was at costco that that the uh pizza and the hot dogs and the sodas were deemed to be essential <laughs> that's pretty good the junk food the junk food that is creating the pre-existing conditions that is causing the people to die that is essential this is how we this is how we do things folks so <clears throat> but let's not bring any logic into the discussion, none, none whatsoever. Let's see. But if you're not buying oral, you're probably wearing a tutor. Craig is always right. I'll, I shall have my next haircut the 12th of May. Um, can you imagine 3 a.m. in the morning and 49 people are watching Hair Clipper, which is out of stock anyway? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you know, that's interesting. I guess a lot of people are probably buying um, clippers to do to cut hair at home, right? <laughs> I have I have some clippers here somewhere. I don't know if they still work. Tim's in the house. I'm going to see if next time Bree's over, I'm going to see if she'll be willing to cut my hair. Uh, she could probably do a pretty good job. She's pretty good at just about everything. And pretty much everything. I can take the just about out of there. She's she's good at everything. Can you imagine? Okay, I already read that. I believe Japan's policy has been to leave non-essential businesses and schools open. Oh, so everybody's open in Japan? That'd be good to know. Kyle's in the house. Quay, Craig, when we need to replace our 9F batteries, is that going to be a hassle? It has to be changed by GS only, right? That is what I like about the night. No, 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 no. I, I think anybody, any competent jeweler should be able to carefully open the watch and replace the battery. It shouldn't be rocket science. You could probably do it yourself. 
So no, I don't think that's going to be a big problem. I'm going to go and visit Steve and probably have lunch with him and have him do it for me. But, you know, that's just because I want to go, you know, visit with Steve and have lunch. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd do it myself. Kyle's, Kyle's in the house. Uh, I will be on some tropical beach and it will die with no place around capable of changing it. You get warning. It starts skipping. Does it skip two seconds or four seconds? In other words, it starts jumping multiple seconds. So it gives you warning. And I think it'll run like that for, you know, a month or something. I don't know. Maybe somebody can chime in in the uh, comments how long it will run in the warning mode before it just stops altogether. I think it's a while. So you should be able to get that sorted out. Let's see. Uh, here we only have supermarkets, pharmacies, and banks open. Police arrest every day hundreds of people for curfew violation. On the other hand, cases and deaths per capita and tests are good. Yeah, I, I would much rather have my freedom than safety. I'd, I, I would give up safety any day of the week for my freedom. Somebody once said, somebody famous once said, give me liberty or give me death. There you go. I would rather have the liberty. And Scotty's in the house. Oster, classic, and Carlos are good. My friend's, my, my friend's wife cut his hair on one side with the dog clipper. He has an interview next week, but it's via Skype so he can sit side on. There you go. Yeah, his good side, you know. Here it's forbidden to go to the beach. Nevertheless, you live by the sea and you are alone on the beach. Yeah, as long as you've got a place on the water, you're good to go, right? Uh, let's see. I found a hair clipper. Wife cut me half and battery was finished. This thing needs charge overnight. So another half, she cut me the next day. Okay, there you go. That's a way to do it. One half one day, one half the other. Car Carlos but we almost do not have taxes. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That is good. It's always a give and take. It's always a plus and minus, right, thing. They get the money to fund the government from the canal, right? Is that where most of the money comes from for the, for the uh, government? Carlos, chime in. Let us know how that works. John Smith's in the house. Uh, oh, excuse me. He says test. Excuse me, that was very rude. Kyle Jets in the house. Good stuff to know. The 9F is crazy. So accurate. Mine is still keeping perfect time to the second. Yeah, it, you, you don't even have to worry about it. It's like you don't even have to verify anymore. Just the same thing with my spring drive. I don't even have to check it. I mean, it's like I don't have to worry about it. It's really nice to have one less piece of equipment that you have to worry about. One piece of gear that you can just count on doing its thing day in and day out, you know, decade in and decade out, it, it just doing its thing and being extremely robust, being able to handle anything you throw at it. That is, that is reassuring, to say the least. Not the biggest part, but it is important for the country. How, okay, so where do they get the revenues to run the government if they if the taxes are very low on you? I mean, the revenue's got to come from somewhere. If it doesn't come from the canal, where where does the revenue come from? Uh, somebody's got to be getting taxed somewhere. So that would be interesting to know how they do it. <clears throat> like, for example, Florida doesn't have income tax. But they have sales tax and they have other ways of, of getting revenue, right? And since they have a lot of tours, tourism, tourists coming in and paying sales tax on everything they do, and then those people go back home, those people aren't using schools and aren't using other public services, and so it's a pretty good deal to have all that revenue coming in as a result of tourism. So that allows them to not have to have a... Uh, a state income tax. Let's see, Carlos, and you can wear your day date without fearing getting mugged. Yeah, hopefully, if he's in his backyard, hopefully, hopefully he's safe from getting mugged in the backyard. 
that would really be a dicey situation if he was in the backyard and had to worry about getting mugged. He'd need this. Okay? He'd need to have this handy. You're going to either be the mugger or the muggy. <laughs> right? So, that's how that works. I guess Bree took off. I, guess, I don't know if she's going to Skype in or not. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I picked up the 003 after seeing Craig's review on his 005. It is an incredible tank of a piece and timekeeper from my pool to the the backwoods to work. Peter C. in the house. There you go. And the neat thing about a watch like, like these is you very rarely have to unscrew the crown. You only have to unscrew it to change the date on months that have less than 31 days. And if you don't really care about the date being in sync, then you don't even have to unscrew it for that, right? <laughs> you just let it run. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. We will be more efficient in the end. I think we gravitate towards the AI. Can be a shift of speed soon after. Okay. Uh, gains on financial assets, 0%. No estate tax. Sales tax, 7%. Income tax, 25%. Only from non financial income inside the country. Okay, well, that's pretty high. 25% income tax, that's pretty high. And 7% sales tax is not low. Yeah, so that's, you've got some serious taxes there, it looks like to me. So, yeah, they, they're definitely getting some money. Uh, but there's also some benefits there to the gains on financial assets and so forth for people that are wealthy. Then you guys are doing okay, absolutely. But it looks like the workers there <laughs> getting slapped with a pretty heavy income tax. Uh, let's see. Is that a lightsaber? No, it's a uh, flashlight. Taxation is theft, says Brent in the house. Yeah, that's right. That's right. By the way, Bitcoin is taking a little bit of a dump. Might be a good time to buy. Not financial advice, but, you know, those that say, you know, I, I, I missed out, I missed out, you know. I mean, here's a pullback. Here's your chance to buy. Let's see if I can get this to refresh. Doesn't want to refresh, but we'll see. And it could pull back. Hey, it could go back down to five thousand bucks. It could go. I don't think it's going to retest the thirty-eight hundred dollar low this year. I don't think that's going to happen. But anything's possible. So for you no coiners out there, no coiners, you might want to uh, you might want to change that fact that you're a no coiner. So right now it's down to 6782, 6782 as we speak. So no coiners, keep that in mind. Be, be you serve. Craig, I have a friend with 3. Point, with 3.5K for a watch. He has his mind set on an old date just or oyster retro. I'm trying to tell him that for the same money he could have a superior GS. Yeah, but some people, some people are just dead set on getting the Rolex you know what can I say I mean and I and you know I wore them for 40 years so of course when I was wearing them I didn't even know about the Grand Seikos it wasn't even a thing I mean they were extremely rare in this country back in the day right and so we didn't even know about them but uh yeah, he could get a gorgeous piece for 3.5K. He could get one of those limited editions that Steve has, one of those those new ones Steve has in stock with his name on the paperwork and everything, uh, brand new, and not have to worry about maintenance. And, you know, if you buy an older Oyster Perpetual or something like that and then something happens, you're going to have to get that thing serviced. It's going to cost you an arm and a leg. You know, you could be buying somebody else's problems too. That's the downside there. Let's see. I could be worried using colored gold with short sleeve in certain areas, like in a lot of other places in the world. Yeah, absolutely. You got to be careful where you go if you're wearing nice things. Fortunately, the places I go are, are fairly safe, so I don't have to worry about that. Now, I did have one gentleman step to me when I was in Baltimore. He, he stepped to me and wanted to, to make a move, but... I squelched that pretty quickly. 
and uh, that turned out to be a non-issue. Uh, New World Order is gripping our nuts. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I uh, Come on, let's keep the language family-friendly. I hate no-coiners, he says, Brent says. Well, you know, a lot of people are no-coiners. Eventually, I think they'll all end up having some Bitcoin eventually. Some of them, it takes a lot more time than others. They'll, they'll eventually have some. Uh, Bowl Cut Bandit heard your shoe talk yesterday. Ever, ever see Thursday Boot Company? No, no, I haven't. I haven't checked them out. Carlos Stig, uh, I would not be that worried in Copenhagen while I assume there are places not as nice there too. Uh, Kyle Jett, Brent, we still haven't seen that two-tone date just on the channel. Okay. Uh, would you consider GS alike to Tesla in the car world? Teslas are not that good a car. They're, they've got quality issues. They're not really that comfortable, the seats and stuff. I mean, I, I drove the original sedan when it came out, and the, the Roadster was pretty cool. I drove it. Uh, I've got videos on the channel of both. They're really not that great, and they, they have some pretty serious quality control issues. So, no, I think they've got a long way to go before they reach the quality level of Grand Seiko. I think Toyota is at the quality level of Grand Seiko, but not uh, not Tesla. Yeah, they're not there yet. Maybe they'll get there, but their quality is just not there. Uh, let's see, sending it now. Okay, so somebody's sending a photo, I guess. See if we can find it here. Takes a little while for these things to come through for some reason. Let's do a quick time check. And I'm going to get a little drink of H2O. By the way, the Grand Seiko, the GS and the Grand Seiko on that dial is more gold looking in person. It just the color, the white balance on this camera, I just can never seem to get it just right. Uh, to get that color correct. So, but take my word for it, it's really nice and gold, really, really cool looking in person. All of these watches look much better in person than they do on any photo or video or anything like that. Uh, let's see if I can get this to load. Can't get it to load. I'm just not seeing it. Let me see what this is. See what that is. I'm going to delete those two. Got some emails in here, but not seeing the email that that we're talking about here. Make sure you sent it to craigship at gmail.com, C-R-A-I-G-S-H-I-P-P at gmail.com. The Toyota Century is better than a Lexus LS. Well, I don't know about that. I would definitely go for the Lexus LS sedan. Yeah, in that case. Absolutely. Okay, so Stig's in the house. Carlos, in my youth, Copenhagen was a safe place, but not nowadays. When I go certain places, I wear my Seiko XKS. Uh, taking forever to send. Okay, Brent in the house. Uh, just been checking out the GS website. There's a movement that claims 33% accuracy improvement on the snow slash sky Flake spring drive. Unfortunately, I don't like the look of it. Are you talking about the new model that came out? Yeah, you don't need that accuracy because the, the current ones are plenty accurate enough. <laughs> plenty accurate enough. So, yeah, I, I, wouldn't, um, I wouldn't sweat that. Any of the current spring drives are going to be really good. Carlos is in the house. Remember, Grand Seiko under promises and over delivers. So, um... Spain income tax up to 56 <laughs> percent, sales tax 21 percent, estate tax. Up. Well, yeah, I mean, isn't Spain sort of like a socialist country? I mean, yeah. See, that's what we should have done. <clears throat> what we should have done is we should have let all the socialists go to Europe because most of those countries over there are socialist or, or trending socialist, right? So we should have just let all the socialists go there 
and all the capitalists from Europe that are still there, the best and brightest, the capitalists, we should have invited them to come here. So we should have just done an exchange. Just send all the socialists over there and send the... the we can get this puppy restarted. Get this puppy restarted. And let me know in the chat if we are restarted. I'm going to try to refresh this and see what we've got going on. The best and brightest, the capitalists. Okay, so that's the older portion of the stream there. So let me know, folks, if... Get this puppy restarted. Get yeah, this okay. Restarted. Looks like it is restarted. And we've lost a whole bunch of our viewers have, have, have left the sinking ship. <laughs> like rats off the sinking ship. But I don't know why it just died. It, that's my Video Pro streaming box that sometimes does that. Uh, of course, everybody's using the Internet these days, so this is why these things can happen. And I, uh, where we were talking was this thing looks like it might be a little bit large on me. Yes, I'm not doing as many push-ups as I did years ago. I'm not quite as, not quite as strapped, right? So some of my jackets are a little bit look a little bit big, but I would rather have them a little bit loose than than tight. And I I don't like the closely cut suits that they have these days with the short jackets and all that stuff. So um, yeah, I like th I like this. I, it's very comfortable for me. Um, so yeah, I'm going with it. Uh, let's see. By the way, happy Easter, everyone. Um, uh, Craig, start from where you were sending socialists to Europe. Don't s don't send to Australia, please. Yeah, well, let's just send them all to Europe, and then the entrepreneurs and the folks that want to be in motion and make things happen and have personal responsibility uh, and take care of themselves, the free thinkers and so forth, let them all come to the U.S. and Australia. How's that? Craig is living in a free country. He has no idea of what the socialists are capable of. We're getting there. We're starting to learn. <laughs> Trust me, here in Maryland, we're, you know, we're starting to learn what socialism is all about. Right? Uh, shut down all private enterprise and, and have the government take care of everybody. That's pretty much the way it's going right now here in Maryland. Tim's in the house, by the way. Happy Easter, everyone. Carla says, looks good, Craig. Uh can you craig can can i what sounds good uh, craig do you like the dark gray dial on the new date 836 is there a dark gray dial on the 36 i didn't think they offered that i thought the gray or black whatever dial you want to call it is on the 40 the date 840 that looks good but i didn't know they had a dark gray dial on the 36 news to me this rat is still in the sinking ship the mighty rat. Hey, man, I wish I was as slim as you. Hey, exercise and eat right. Here's the thing, folks. I exercise a minimum of two hours a day every freaking day come you know what or high water. And I try to eat right, right? This is, this is what's called personal responsibility. When you get older, your metabolism slows down, so it's natural for you to put on weight, and that's why everybody blows up like balloons. And, you know, they don't eat right, they don't exercise, and, and then they get all kinds of pre-existing conditions, right, that were pretty much, of the, generally speaking, the vast majority, their own making. So, yeah, it comes with personal responsibility. You have to make a significant effort to actually take care of yourself, especially as you get older. Ask R. Wags. He's in very good shape. I bet you he works at it. I don't think it just comes, I don't think it just you know, comes via osmosis. I think he works at it. Carlos, when the police try to ticket or arrest someone in the U.S., the case is thrown out by the DA or judge because it violates constitutional rights of citizens. We don't have martial law. We're getting there, our wags. We've got it here in Maryland right now. <laughs> We've got martial law. Um, it's coming. <laughs> At Lamont, what other lies did your dad tell you about life? Um, thanks, thanks for the polite explanation. Okay, we'll try to be polite on this channel whenever we can. Did we ever get Brent PG email with the date just? 
I showed the pictures. Oh, did you not see them? Okay, let me show the pictures again, just in case we were off air when I showed them. Here are the pictures. And I like Datejusts. I would go, the one on the left, I would rather have that on a Jubilee, that modern Datejust, with a fluted bezel, white gold fluted bezel would be the way I would pick that one with the black doll. That'd be a stunner. I'm not a big fan of the polished center links, but that's okay. I mean, it's all right. No, nothing wrong with it. But I just would go the other way. And then the steel and gold, yes, nice, nice piece. Again, I'm more a fan of the all steel with the white gold bezel, fluted bezel. It would be the way I would go on that one as well. But again, it is what it is. It's not a bad choice. Never a bad choice to have a date just. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, good to hear your shaving comments. I use my Gillette Fusion 5 blades for at least two months. Shave twice a day, one direction, then against the grain. Yeah, you should try double edge. You should try shaving with a, a double edge razor. These blades only cost 10 cents a piece, and I love it. I, I think it's a great way to shave. I was surprised when I switched over to that, that it would ever work, but it did, and I do like it. Poor Lamont, leave him some air. We, we are having some slack on on these daily streams. Yeah, don't hit him with the wrench too hard. Let let Lamont rant a little bit. Quit quit uh quit the capitals, Lamont. You're a very, very slow learner. Okay. I like your jacket. It is classic and fits well. Say Stu, Stu in the house. Uh spending the first hour of Easter here. Okay, good. Uh Carlos in the case of Lamont, I think the capitals are part of the character. Yeah, we might have to cut Lamont some slack on the on the full caps. Emmy, can you get 36 millimeter day date with the dark gray dial, or is it on Rolex website? Uh, we can try to take a look. Let's do a time check here. Let's see here. Uh, Rolex. Somebody is obsessed with day dates, so let's go in here and see what we can find out about the day date. Here's the day date right on the home page. Now, how the hell do we get to it? I've had this problem before with this website is terrible. Let me go ahead and cut to it so you can see what we got. All right, let me see if I can find this. The the Rolex website is just absolutely horrendous, but let me see what I can do. Here's day date. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, day date, the ultimate watch. Okay, now let's see how we can configure this. All right, so here's the day date 36, yellow gold, which is the way we would go. We would never go with anything but yellow gold. And then we can configure. All right, let's see here. And s choose your model. Uh, 36, yeah. Okay, select. Is that what I do? All right. Uh, choose your material. Okay, yellow gold. All right, we want that. And fluted. Select. Uh, select. All right, here we can select the dial. All right, well, yeah, okay, so it looks like you've got to go with the diamonds if you're going to get that, that gray. I, I don't like diamonds on the dial, so that would kill that for me. Um, you'd, you'd have to go with, let's see, let's see here. Um, it looks like the only one that isn't screwed up with diamonds and stuff is the, um, now that green with the diamonds is kind of cool, but, I'm just not about having diamonds on my watch. I'm sorry. I, I guess you'd have to go with the gold. And for me, that would be a no-fly zone because it just wouldn't be that legible. There's not enough contrast there. So they really don't have a dial combination on the 36 that I would want. Just don't have it. So now if you like the diamonds, then go for it. Um, wouldn't be me. 
Joey's in the house. What's your two-hour daily workout? Please explain the details. Joey, been in the house. There are worse things to be obsessed with than day chest or day date. <laughs> okay. Uh, have you seen the Breguet type XXI? I am not a chronograph fan, but it's amazing. Yeah, I would just, I would not go for the Breguet personally. Uh, I just think there are a lot of better options, but maybe some other folks can chime in. I got locked out of the chat, Lamont. Sorry. Okay, how to exercise. Okay. On nice days, <clears throat> I go for a hike, and usually for at least two hours, sometimes three hours. And and the hike can be rather rigorous because we have some trails that go up the mountain here and, and stuff, so it can be rather rigorous. And then on even days, I do push-ups. I do th three to four sets. Usually these days I'm doing at least four sets of push-ups. And I'm up to about... 60 for the first set and then maybe 50 for the second 50 for the third and maybe 40 for the fourth set uh, on even days and then on odd days I do dumbbell curls alternating dumbbell curls with 25 pound dumbbells and I do at least three sets of 50 usually I'll do I'll throw in a fourth set of 40 to 50 just for good measure so and then I have another device that I have that that I hold my arms out and I have a pole and a paracord going down to a, a gallon jug and then I twist like this and raise the weight up and then lower it down and that's for forearms and grip so that that I do on arms day arm days um, and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it that that uh, push-ups are really key they, they do a lot for you and I had gotten to the point where I was doing three sets of a hundred and then some years ago I, th I thought it was straining my back and causing some problems with my back so I backed down and started doing quite a few less I was only doing like 25 a set of 25 maybe three sets th but then I came to the conclusion that that really wasn't what was causing a problem with my back and so I'm I'm re-upping the number of push-ups I'm doing and I'm slowly working my way back up uh, and uh, trying to just keep really good form so that I don't stress my back and cause a problem. You know, getting old is not fun, but it is what it is. We, we, we just try to work through it. Um, so let's try to pull up the breguet. Oh, the Breguet <clears throat> type XXI. Let's see what we got here. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there it is. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah, for me, that's just way too busy. Way too busy. I mean, I would just, I, I don't know what I would do with the watch. I, I, I just have no, yeah, I wouldn't wear that watch. So because I wouldn't wear it, I wouldn't buy it either. So that's just, that's just me. Um, <clears throat> Stephen Hawking was sitting at home and thinking about black holes similar to Marx and Engels. They have said one group of society will take over another. Labor versus owners, owners versus labor. My dad's computer's so slow, frozen up. Okay. Um, why is there no difference between date 836 and 40 on Chrono 24? You mean for the price? The price? No price difference? I'm not sure. There should be a price difference. The 40 is definitely more more expensive watch. Uh, why don't you like diamonds on the dot? Just don't. I just don't think it's a good idea on a man's watch to have diamonds on the dial. But some people like it. If you like it, go for it. I, not for me. And also, I like loom. I'd rather have loom. And you're giving up the loom. So, yeah. 
I, I wouldn't I just wouldn't uh, wouldn't go that way now for a ladies watch I think having diamonds on it are gr is a great idea Stu's in the house two hours to do anything is a lot of time besides work I would say most people probably do not have that luxury well <clears throat> I mean to me health health and fitness is very important so uh, I don't go to the doctor I don't spend money on medical bills I don't have to take any drugs any you know prescription drugs uh, I'm able to get a lot done the hours that I'm not exercising because I'm in decent health so to me it's worth the trade-off you know spending the time to be in good shape is is well worth it I mean to others they'd rather be in poor shape and have health issues and they're not willing to put in the time to uh, to remedy that I get it I get it it's all about personal choices but where it kind of like bugs me is when then they turn around and want me to pay for their poor choices they want me to compensate them for the poor decisions that they made that's where it kind of becomes unfair don't you think um, and who was it that said Clive was Skyping in oh that'd be cool if he did yeah he's always welcome to Skype in he doesn't like using Skype though for some reason Stu's in the house uh, push-ups are a great exercise back injuries are dangerous yeah yeah I I've had on and off some some issues where I've kind of like tweak my back and and some years ago I would sometimes pull it or do something and I'd literally be out of commission for two or three days I mean I'd be in real pain and fortunately knock on wood that hasn't happened the last few years but yeah I mean it can be back issues can be a problem because if you strain something in your back to where you're really hurting it kinda keeps you from being able to do anything I mean it, it it's it's really uh, something so um, yeah and I think if you do push-ups with the right form I think it helps strengthen your back and helps strengthen your abs and your core so that you're less likely to have a an issue with your back so but you gotta do it right okay um, I couldn't help myself the stream was offline anyway okay um, Lamont what watch is your daily wear I like regular type XX better Lamont, do you still live with your parents? Well, he's using his dad's computer, so I would guess so. Carlos is in the house. Um, there is no noticeable price difference between date eight thirty six or forty on Chrono twenty four. Weird, right? Yeah. What are what are the forties going for? I know um, uh, they were getting down to around twenty five thousand. Are they still in the around the twenty five thousand level for about the lowest prices on the forty? Uh, let us know in the chat. Uh, Graham, uh, yes, seems weird in retail price. There are some difference. I don't remember how much, but it is sensible. Uh, it would be great if Lamont would would Skype. Yeah, no, no, no. I don't think we're gonna have Skype Lamont Skype in. <laughs> Your back injuries are probably old injuries from driving that jet boat too fast. Well, and also, I have to tell, I have to say, back in the day when I used to work out at the gym with weights and things like that I definitely pushed myself too hard and you know when you're young you do stupid things and you know deadlifting and bench pressing and all different kinds of things I I there were times when I pushed harder than I should and I really you know strained myself and yes I may have definitely tweaked some things to where it reoccurs sometimes but like I say I'm a little more careful now and so far uh, you know I haven't had a problem for for a while now several years so we'll see how that all goes but yeah it uh, sometimes you do some stupid things when you're younger okay but you should learn from those and then you know do better right that, that's the way it is but but I got nowadays people don't learn anything they just keep making the same mistakes over and over again and then they again want us to pay for them so Stu I have tweaked 
my back stepping out of the shower and was down for two days. It was really a fragile thing sometimes, and I take it for granted. Yeah, you, you can just do, I mean, you can be doing something very simple like, you know, shaving at the at the sink and, and lean forward to pick something up or something. I mean, all of a sudden you feel like a little sharp thing go up your back, and then the next day you're like almost paralyzed, right? That's the way it used to happen for me. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a thing. <clears throat> and and then you can go to a chiropractor or something like that, <laughs> then they do the thing, and half the time, you know, it it just doesn't get any better. It just takes time to get better. So, there was some play, playing tennis. Do you still play? I, I yeah. And in tennis, you know, you're reaching, you're straining. You're yeah. I, I'm not. I haven't played for the last couple of years, but yeah, I used to play a lot. And uh, yeah, sometimes you might be able to strain yourself doing that. And also volleyball. I played a lot of volleyball. Uh, but I think any damage I did, I think I did back in the day when I was you know doing heavy weights um you know you're always trying to outdo yourself and outdo the other guy and push 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 and and sometimes you push a little bit too hard especially when you're young okay so the mighty rat sub 16k pepsi count continues to rise now from 22 i saw one for sale uh somebody posted on one of the forums one of the rolex forums one for twelve thousand for sale so that was that was a pretty low price so but you got to watch it some of these low priced ones might be fake might be fake right um now up to 22 from 12 a week ago they're stacking up like an aircraft holding pattern trashy larry i was subbed in 2018 before this channel went dormant before this channel went dormant 2018 well this channel never went dormant I'm not sure what you're talking about glad it's up again hmm yeah the, yeah I don't know what channel you're talking about this channel's never been dormant <laughs> I love the chiropractor who makes an adjustment on my neck and I feel like the demons come out of my ears there you go oh you got good good results there I haven't gone to one for many, many years, so I can't, and, that, and I've got a, a good one that's a sponsor on Frederick.com that I can go to if I do have a problem, and I probably will try her out if I have another problem, but so far, so good. Are you getting your pull-ups in too, Craig? Do you have a pull-up bar? No, I haven't been doing pull-ups. I do do um, uh, shoulder presses like this with the dumbbells when I'm doing the arms. But I don't have a pull-up bar, and I'm not doing pull-ups. But that would be good to do. Absolutely, that's always a good idea. Uh, yes, my chiropractor says less people do. He is getting richer. His idea is we'll lose some muscles and evolution. Interesting. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, we're getting close to wrapping up here, folks. Put in the chat. If there's any questions you have, and I guess Bree is not going to Skype in, uh, I'm going to message her real quick just to make sure. Um, let's see here. Uh, Skype. Uh, we'll see if what she says. Give her one chance to Skype in if she's uh, near her computer. Um, do you still do the wrist strengthening? Yes, I do. Yes. Yes. Like this. Yeah. And I set up a rig for a Brie to do the same thing. Uh, the new... GS SBGX331 is the champagne dial version of the SBGY002 with a 9F61 movement. Great stainless steel stunner for classy gentlemen with expanded budget. Yeah, the problem is I think that's the one that is limited production, right? 
and that's pretty much sold out everywhere. I spend too much time on YouTube, too, in the house. Sorry about that. I'm confused why I can do push-ups at 220 pounds but can only bench press 150. Well, it's a more isolated, the bench press is more isolated movement. So the muscles you're isolating on that might not be strong enough. But you'll work up, if you keep doing them, you'll work up to where you can do more. This needs to continue for a bit, says Derek. Wait, we haven't fully covered the day date yet. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, what can I say? Ha. Huh. I'm just giving Bree a moment to see if she wants to Skype in. And then we'll wrap it up. Let's check the time, do a quick time check. Oh, look at that. Look at that second hand. Can you imagine that? Uh, let's see. Can you recap on that wrist strengthening exercise? Easy to do whilst isolating. Right. Okay. Well, <clears throat> what I use is what's for dinner, <laughs> the normal, the standard. Um, all, all you have to do is you can take a, a piece of a broom handle about, you know, about yay long, and you drill a hole in it, and you take a piece of paracord, paracord 550 which you should have around the house you should always have that and you just thread it through the hole in the middle of that and you just tie a knot and then you take the other end of the paracord and you tie it to a gallon jug of the like the gallon jugs you get when you buy water or something but you got to get one with a handle on it you got to get one with a handle on it because you so you can tie it around the handle right I use a jug that that you get when you buy like antifreeze for your car for the windshield washer fluid right you, you buy the gallon jug it's got a handle on it so you tie that paracord around that and the paracord is going to be about four feet long right going down to that and so then that way you can regulate how much water is in the jug that gives you your amount of weight right I'm up to where it's full it's it's got a gallon of water in there right so what's that eight pounds whatever a gallon of water weighs and so what you do is you extend your arms out and you grip either side of that that piece of wood, that handle, and you just take and you twist like this, and you you turn the handle, and that slowly wraps the cord around it, right? And so that raises the weight up, and you bring the weight all the way up, and then you twist it back the other way, and lower it all the way down. And that's very good for your grip, and for your forearms, and for your shoulders, because you're holding it out straight like this. And it, it also helps your core. So it's a very good exercise. Tennis players do that. It's very good for, for, for tennis and for grip and forearm, all that stuff. So, yeah, that's how you do that. Let's see here. Next show, uh, next broadcast, show us the wrist exercise machine. It's not a machine. <laughs> Craig, never ban Lamont. He's our village fool. The court jester has, has his place. Absolutely. I'm not going to ban him. It's up to you guys. It's up to you wrench gang guys to handle him. Try. Uh, we have some at Craig had to intervene in Lamont's favor and and dispense him. Uh, thank you, sir. I'll get going on that in the morning. I even have an empty screen wash jug in the car trunk. There you go. I got all consoles playing up to six hours online okay all right so I haven't heard from Bree so she must be doing something you're correct a gallon of water is 8.34 pounds Stu in the house calculating things Bree's in, Brent is in the house says Craig and did you get my email let's check and see if there's another email let's check time check uh, let's see here I don't see another email. We only had that one email so far with the date justs. So I do not see another one right now. Um, if, if you only sent that one, that's all I have so far. We love the, uh, Lamont. Please leave Larry live. Brent, he showed all the pics. Kyle in the house. Okay, so you only sent the one email. Okay, we, yeah, we got that. We showed him. Uh, let's see. Beans and rice for me tonight. The rest of my money 
goes into the mutual funds through in the house. I hope you're not a no corner. I hope you've got at least one full Bitcoin stashed away for, for 20 years. You want to stash it for 20 years. Megan is in the house. Hello, Megan. Megan coming in late. We're getting ready to wrap this puppy up. Triforce Rich says, do you think Bree would date Lamont? Maybe his dad would let him borrow his day date so he looks smart. Now, if he gifted Bree the day date, you know, she would probably go to dinner with him or something. But, you know, I mean, she's she's a classy lady. She's got to, you know, you got to lavish her with gifts. Megan, what do you think? What do you think? Should somebody gift you a Rolex? What do you think? Did we find out about the wingers? Um, what, did, what, what, were, what were we trying to find out about the wingers? The wingers. I've got a winger. Let's see. Give Lamont a wrench. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen, Stu. Brent's in the house. NVM Craig. I had to go for a bit. Didn't realize you had shown it already. All right. Well, let's show it again. We'll show it again. We'll show it again. Show it again. Show it again. There you go. A couple of date just stunners, if you ask me. There you go. Absolutely, positively lootly. Why not? Why not a date just? That's what I say. Um, sorry, Bitcoin is too risky for me. I, well, I would say it's too risky not to have it. I'd say you're taking a big risk not being in that game. I will let you make all the Bitcoin money. I may regret it. Yeah, most people do regret it that uh, over the years that haven't bought. I had a buddy of mine that I told him to buy when it was $30. Bitcoin was $30. I said, yeah, well, just get yourself at least one, for gosh sakes, right? And every year he, he looks at the price and he says, damn, I should have listened to you. He said, the one time he looked at it, it was $1,200. He said, <clears throat> he said, Craig, it's $1,200 for one Bitcoin. He said, he said, damn, I should have bought it. I should have bought it when it was $30. I said, yeah, I said, you're right. Then, then like, you know, a year later or something, it was like $4,000 or whatever. And he says, he says, damn, it's $4,000. I should have bought it when it was $1,200. And, and then some more time went by, you know, and it was like, seven thousand dollars and he says damn he says i i should have bought it i should have bought it back when it was twelve hundred dollars i should have bought it when it's four thousand now it's seven thousand so see now it's below seven thousand he's got another chance to buy it and now like a year from now when it's like fifteen thousand or whatever it will be in a year he'll say um damn i should have bought it when it was under seven thousand i keep hearing this same story you seeing a pattern here, folks? You seeing a pattern? Um, I nominated Lamont. Steve has one in stock. There you go. Uh, I'm a giver to to my detriment, giving away a lot of money. Stew in the house, absolutely. Well, I mean, giving nice young ladies gifts is is always a good thing to do. I think it's always nice to to give a, a lovely young lady a, a gift here and there. Yeah. Well, I mean, what good is money for if you can't give some nice, be generous, right? I'm a rugged gal. I've always been a tomboy. Well, there you go. A Grand Seiko would, would be able to handle just about anything you can throw at it, especially a, a one with the 9F movement. They're very rugged, very robust. I think Lamont is the only one that we need not to have a wrench as much as we love. <laughs> Megan, do you have any... Uh, Salcony shoes. I, I don't know what those are. No, I don't think I do. That's a good question. Stig's in the house. Stu, a wrench is is not to be taken lightly. It's it is an honor. <laughs> Will be. Are you serious, Craig? Serious about what? Just finished a workout. Bree in the house. Bree, are you going to Skype in before we wrap up so that you can give all your contact information? Let us know. Skype in if you can. You can t you can tell them about the workout that you did. How about that? Today was Arms Day, Bree. I hope you did arms. Can we get some woman on this channel to chime in on the day date situation? Leslie, Bree, Rachel, Megan. Megan was on earlier. She did a live stream, and you guys didn't even join her. She was she only had like 
10 viewers or something, you guys didn't even come in and say hi. I mean, at least pop in and say hi when she does a live stream, for gosh sakes. I mean, what, what are you guys thinking? Give, give her a little bit of moral support. She takes the time to do a live stream and you don't even chime in? Uh, let's see. I have Lamont a wrench earlier right over the head. <laughs> I wish I could have bought Coca-Cola, AT&T, Apple, Microsoft before it went up. Stu in the day. Yeah. And you see you've got, an op you've got an opportunity with Bitcoin right now and you're passing up on it. It's still very early days for Bitcoin. O only about 1% of the people even know that it exists. I mean, it's very early days. It's like 1994 Internet, you know, time frame. Trashy Larry keeps getting hammered i don't know what he did wrong <laughs> okay well it looks like the lovely brie is not going to skype in i don't know maybe she's not going to skype in we'll give her a few more moments here to skype in and then we will wrap this puppy up and be serve says i'm on the west coast and was asleep when she did her show well that's your excuse okay uh <laughs> my gosh you sleep in a little late because i think she did her show like one o'clock didn't she that's like 10 o'clock your time i mean you do sleep in i guess there you go must be nice uh <laughs> all right i guess brie is not gonna gonna call in let me check derek's in the house though he says wait guys wait wait for what wait for what we can't be done Craig please Derek um, well you know I mean Bree was in the chat just a moment ago okay and you guys could have at least you know asked her a few questions and interacted with her I didn't even see anybody say hi to her I said hi when she popped into the chat I didn't see you guys say anything what are you guys shy I mean you know, a beautiful young lady like Bree pops into the chat. You should, every single one of you should say hi. R. Wags, Carlos, Blue Shirt Buddha, someone keep it going. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to send a couple of question marks to Bree and see if she answers. Um, and then we're going to wrap this puppy up because you guys are not not being polite to the female guests. Craig is hammering the wrench gang. Lamont. Uh, boy, yeah, Lamont. Lamont, chime in. Absolutely. So, click subscribe. Click the bell so that I, I can Skype in for a bit okay well but do it now i'm getting ready to wrap up do it now so that we can give them all your information okay oh boy let me put on the headset because i think she's going to skype in let's see somebody says i have a little bit okay let me answer this All right, let me make this full screen. Hello, Bree. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. How was your workout? Just went home. How, how was, was it? Good. It was fun. Did you push? And... Yeah. Did you push yourself? Yeah, I did. You hesitated. And... <laughs> Well, I mean, I did the nor the normal workout. Okay. But well, you need to start pushing yourself a little bit harder. Okay. All right. Now. But I did arms because it is arms. Day. Okay. Now, remember the thing that we made for you for the arms. Oh, the um the string. Yeah. Did you do that? Yeah, I did. I you, did that. Do you still have it? Where Where is it? Yeah, I can show it can to you. Can you demonstrate? Guys. Can you show? Because one of them was asking about it. Sure. Maybe you can show them how it works. Uh, let me see if I can. 
show it here. You can see me, right? Yeah, you can close your door if you want behind you. <clears throat> Here I have my mat where I do all my workouts. Okay. And you can maybe point the camera down a little bit. It's a little bit high over your head. Okay. All right. So so describe to them what you've got there, how you set that up. Um, so basically you drill a hole in some type of wood or something. Mm-hmm. And you can get a string from, I don't know, five, eBay. Yeah, that's that's five fifty paracord. Yep. Yeah, and then just use like a gallon of something. Mhm. Mm With a handle on it, so you can tie the rope on it. Mhm. Mm yep. Tie tie the tie the rope around it, the handle. Mhm. Mm Good. And so you use it to. Go like this. Okay. Let's see you do it. Keep your arms straight all the time. Mm -hmm. And then you just curl it, curl it until... And you can feel that weight pulling on your arms, right? Oh, yeah. You can I, can, I can feel it. Feel it working. you, And you do three sets of that, right? Up and then down. And when you're going down, you feel it going down too, right? Yes. And that's good for your grip your forearms, your shoulders, and even a little bit in your core. You can feel it in your core too, right? I do. Yeah. It helps everything in upper body. And now once you get used to that weight, you can just add more fluid to it to add more weight, right? Yeah, yeah I can. So folks, there you go. Bree is demonstrating right now how you can stay fit and take care of yourself so that you can survive things like this virus. You know, if you're in really good physical shape, it's much more likely that this virus is not going to bother you. You're going to be fine if you're in great shape. Right, Bree? Well, eat healthy. And not just exercise and eat junk food. Like, you got to... You, you want to eat healthy, too. Yeah, you yeah. want to exercise and eat healthy. And you're, you're, gonna, you're working at it. <laughs> There you go. And now somebody somebody said, um, is Bree trying to schedule a live stream next Saturday? Next Saturday? Uh, well, I, I don't think I'm going to do live videos. Because of your connection problem? Yeah. Okay. Until, we, until, until you I get... Do, I can do Instagram live videos. Yeah, until you get it sorted out, that, that, if that I, issue. Yeah. Okay, um, and let's see what else here. Good for Bree. Now she be able to grip an object really hard. Absolutely, she's got she's she's a strong girl. Period. She's she's no joke. And you don't want to mess with Bree. You know, you don't want to get on the wrong side of Bree because she's pretty powerful. Bree, have you met Audrey? No, she didn't meet Audrey in person, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. Not yet. Hopefully someday she will. The Mighty Rat, um, love it, and he has an arm muscle sign. And my, Mighty Rat says, I always used to st stay that th three weeks was a good adoption time before adding weight, th three weeks. So, yeah, it depends on, you know, if she gets strong to where it's too easy to do, then she's just got to add some more weight to it to keep that stress on the on the muscles, keep working those muscles. When you're young, yeah. like Bree, you can make progress pretty quick. And uh, let's see, Deltron predicted this virus, Lamont says. Stu says, see, I like the wrist exercise. Okay, there you go. You just saw it. And yeah. uh, let's see, take care, Carlos. I guess Carlos left the chat. Uh, Bree, do you practice martial arts? No, I do not. But you're going to, right? That is I could, yeah. Yeah, I think you should. I think that, do, will they have that at school when you go to the next college? Will they have that as a so. class? Uh, maybe like self-defense class, yeah. but not. Like, Anything like that that they have, you should definitely take. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I've been wanting to take a class like that. Because that would help with your fitness also. 
Yeah, and to also defend myself if something happens. Absolutely. And uh, Derek says, Bree, should Craig get the new day date? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so Bree likes a day date. In what about which... the what about the that Grand Seiko, the gold Grand Seiko, the 002? That one. I like that one. Stunning, right? Yes. Yeah. So we'll have to wait and see. When if Steve gets that, hopefully he will, and then we'll look at it and then we'll make a decision, right? Yep. Okay. And one for me. There, that's right. There you go. Bree needs a watch for sure. <laughs> All right. How do they how do they follow you? What is your how do they become a Patreon? So you can go to my website, um, briefitdance.com, and you can find all the links to my platforms and to my Patreon. So, yeah, just click and that. There, and there is a link in the description of this video. I always put your link in there so they can click on that yes. and get to your website and, and support you and help you with your content creation. Here's a young lady that's got a head on her shoulders, is making things happen. She's in motion. And here's your opportunity, gentlemen, to be helpful and be supportive. So, you know, they, the, people always talk about how these young people are not motivated and not doing positive things and all that. Well, here's somebody that is, and you can show some support. Thank you for coming on the show, Bree. We're going to have to get you in the studio here sometime soon so you can do a live live with us in the studio. They always like it when you're in the studio. Yes, I'll be there soon. We'll have to figure that out. The weather's not looking very good the next several days. We'll have to figure out when the weather's going to be good. But hopefully hopefully we'll have some good weather. And then we could do, because all the trees are starting to sprout and flowers and starting to look stunning on the mountain, on the mountain here. So, all right, thanks for calling in. And I will let thanks. you go. And anything else to say before we wrap up? Uh, to keep to keep positive, keep being active, and don't let the news drown your positiveness. That's right. Make things happen, right? Do what you can do. In motion. Don't don't be paralyzed, right? Don't yeah. be paralyzed. Yeah. Be be making things happen. All right. One more thing. The nine F 60th anniversary arrived arrived today from Steve. So excited! Thank you, Craig, and thank you, Steve, for bringing this awesome stunner to my attention. I wanted to unbox it live. Um, well, you should. You should live stream that unboxing. Uh, you should have. Uh, darn! You should have skyped into the show. Uh, <laughs> but. But you enjoy that, and, and, and definitely Skype in anytime you want. You're welcome to Skype in and show that stunner off. Uh, Bree, do you, do you practice marksmanship? In other words, do you fire guns? No. Not, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> and Carlos says, thank you for joining, Bree. All right. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up. We're, you've got things to do. And remember, BreeFitDance.com. BreeFitDance.com. She's pretty much all that. Thanks for calling in. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Bye-bye. The lovely Bree. Just like that. That's how we do it. Just like that. Perhaps tomorrow I know I'm late too. Okay. Um, yeah, if you can show it. If you email me, I don't know if I already sent you my Skype information but if you email me I can send email you back the the Skype number that you use to call in and then uh, we'd love you to call in via Skype and uh, and show that puppy off and I will try to do a show tomorrow at 5 p.m. I'll do my best so um, if you can do that that would be absolutely positively fantastic uh, let's see here. Let's wrap this puppy up. We've been going for how long? Wow. We've been going a long time, folks. <laughs> We've been going a long time. Hour and 40 minutes, it looks like. So, yeah. Um, let's see here. Let me find this on the, on my app here. 
Okay, sounds good. I'll email later regarding Skype for tomorrow. Okay, excelente. Um, be safe, everyone. Yes, I agree. Everybody be safe. Exercise, eat right, take care of yourselves. And remember, click subscribe and click that little bell so you get a notification.